Hello my fabulous Pisces, Heather here from the Crystal Vein Tarot with your end of month reading, your mid month reading for the second half of July. So this reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Pisces. It is a general reading. As a general reading, the messages are not going to resonate for everyone, so be sure to check out your moon and rising sign readings as well. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for um, tuning in each month, each week for these readings. I really and truly appreciate that. Um, I appreciate your thumbs up and your comments and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so now so you are notified when the next readings come out. I do um, readings for each zodiac sign, a monthly reading, and I'm now doing these mid-month readings. Uh, I am no longer going to be doing the weekly readings. Instead, I am adding uh, two other readings. They are going to be about manifesting and attracting abundance into your life. So. Manitra manifesting and attracting uh, your wants, your desires, your goals. And the second one is going to be about releasing subconscious blocks and karma that could be preventing you from achieving your goals and your dreams. And they're going to be related to the new moon and full moon energies. So um, you'll see those, those readings come out. Um, it's not going to be on a regular schedule insofar as it's going to be like every first of the month and 15th of the month. It's going to be based on the new moon and full moon cycles. So that's when you will see those readings come out. So again, make sure that you subscribe so you are notified when they come out. So Pisces, let's see what energy we have for you for the last half of July. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Pisces. Well, 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 you've been a busy bee, that's for sure. Okay, and you have the hanging man. So the Hanging Man is at the bottom of the deck. This is your overall energy for those last two weeks. And this is really about you kind of stepping back a little bit and seeing things from a different perspective. So you are gaining wisdom, gaining information, gaining knowledge because you, you've you taken some time to go inward a little bit and you are seeing things, you're seeing your situation from a different perspective and it's providing you with clarity and wisdom um, either on how to, how to move forward, actions that you can take or... Um, um, or even just how to deal with someone, whatever it is. This is going to be individual for each of you. This is a general reading. So this could be in your money, career, finance position. This could be in your, your um, health and wellness. It could be in your personal development and spirituality or in your relationships. So for example, you could be gaining a different perspective in this could relate to your um, personal development and wellness and your career. I'm just giving this as an example where you're kind of seeing things from a different perspective and you're realizing that um, you know, having, having a career or having a side business that, um, that doesn't provide emotional fulfillment just isn't worth it for you anymore and that you now want to follow your dreams and your ambitions instead because that will provide you with more satisfaction and more happiness in your life and it's more in line with what it is that you want to do. So you could find that, um, that's just an example of how this could play out, but you know, I really see you working hard. Um, you're really mastering your skills, your abilities, your natural talents that you have, um, learning more information to really refine yourself because you have the Three of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles, they're both Pentacles suit, so it's both Earth energy, both um, relating to, often relates to your money, um, your, physical, your possessions, um, physical assets, tangible things that you can touch, hold, feel, things like money, your possessions, your body, your home as well. But these are both cards about, this is the worker bee card, and this is a card about um, collaborating or working with others. And they're both cards about gaining knowledge, and they're both cards about craftsmanship. Um, so you have that in, in the second last week of July and the last week of July. This is an earlier energy, and this is a more matured energy here. So Three of Pentacles, that second last week of July, this is about you could be working with others, collaborating with others, or just involved in communicating with others in some kind of way, but you are working on your skills, developing your skills, maybe learning new skills or, or learning more information that's going to improve the skills you already have because you're really focused on really refining and providing quality craftsmanship and you're enjoying it. 
Um, and both of these cards have that same energy, but you're doing that. Now, it's being clarified by the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is a card of rest, taking some time out to yourself because you could be feeling stressed, um, overburdened, or like just overwhelmed in some kind of way, um, overextended, and that you need time to go inward. But I'm really feeling like that's not, it has another meaning as well. Because you have the Hanging Man here, and this is really about you um, finding something that you're, one, you're really good at, so you have a natural gift or ability for, and you're developing that knowledge and that information and refining it. I feel like it's this is more the second meaning of that Four of Swords, where you're going taking time to reflect. And taking some time to really reflect, gain a new perspective, and in that first week, so I feel like this hanging man opportunity, this hanging man energy is going to be really predominate in that that second last week of July because you're reflecting on what is it that you're really passionate about, what is it that you're really good at. Again, I said this is the earlier energy of this, so. This really feels like you're discovering that. And then in the second week, you, or in that final week of July, you're really running with it. Because in that final week of July, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a great, you, you know, the Aces are always the new beginning. Ten is the culmination of an energy cycle. So you are going from the beginning to more the end of that energy. So this is really about mastering your craft. This is known as the worker bee card, but it's really about you enjoying what you're doing, enjoying the process um, in, in the, the creative process and that creative energy. So, um, and it's being clarified by the fool and the fool represents a new beginning, fresh hope, you taking a chance, so embarking on a new path, a new adventure, a new beginning, and just trusting that you, the universe is going to provide for you as you go along that path. And so I really feel like this new perspective for many of you, this is about your personal development or something that finding something you're passionate about and running with it and moving forward with it in some kind of a constructive way that will be fruitful for you and create abundance in your life for you, Pisces. So I'm going to pull to Archangel Power Tarot cards, see if I can get some more information on these leaves. Let's see what we have for you, Pisces. Okay, and we have the Ace of Raphael. And we have the Eight of Michael. Okay. Okay, so in that second last week of July, Pisces, you have the Ace of Raphael, which is really about a positive new emotional uh, experience coming your way and deep and lasting spiritual insights. So I really do feel like this is about about you reflecting, um, reflecting on what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that you're really good at, and and using that and tapping into your natural skills and abilities um, to create some kind of stability in your life that you can move forward with. And it's something that's going to emotionally it's emotionally inspiring, whatever, because again, this is this, these two cards are cards about enjoying what you're doing. And then you have the Eight of Michael in that final week, and this is about you setting yourself free and making a courageous choice to change your situation. Um, and that is part of that new beginning, new hope, and, and just kind of blindly jumping in with both feet to uh, move forward with something because you're taking that chance. You've decided to take the chance and actually, like, Take this ability that you have, this skill that you have, and see if you can turn it into something that will provide you with abundance in your life. So now I'm going to pull two Romance Angel Tarot cards, and let's see if we can get any insights into your relationships. So this could be romantic relationships. It can also be like co-workers, colleagues, how you communicate with others, um, friends, family, parents, siblings, children. The whole gamut of relationships. Okay, so we have honeymoon and we have getting to know each other. Okay, oh, you can't really see those. Okay, so we have honeymoon and getting to know each other. So with the honeymoon, this is really a card. So if you are in a relationship, if you're in a new relationship, this is pretty obvious. This is about you making sure that you're taking that time and setting aside that time to really enjoy this process of getting to know someone, you know, like that first kiss, the first time you hold hands, all of those things, um, and just really enjoying that bliss of being with someone else. Um, if you are already partnered, this could be a kind of a um, reawakening of those feelings and just really 
and kind of getting to know the person all over again and learn things about them that you didn't know and just enjoying that process and enjoying being with them. But this can also be about non-romantic relationships and this can just be you enjoying the company of others and you know sharing ideas, communicating with people, enjoying um, common interests with other people. So that's what that honeymoon card is about. And then the getting to know each other. Um, this is about like really allowing yourself to be open with other people, um, letting them see the true you, um, not being afraid to express what you are interested in um, and, and what, um, what you're really passionate about, not being afraid, not hiding yourself in any kind of way. Because when you openly express yourself, when you openly share what you're passionate about, passionate about with others, um, it deepens your bonds with other people. And you know, this really is about you go, these two weeks are really about you going forward with something that you're, you, you know, you really enjoy doing. And I really feel like you're communicating that with other people and you're sharing that and you're letting people see a whole new other side of you and it's deepening your relationships. So really beautiful, nice energy here for you Pisces in this last half of July. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you are notified when the August readings come out. Have a fantastic second half of July, Pisces, and take care.